I know I'm making another video about removing doubts, but this is the number one reason people do not experience their desire. So we got to cover all the bases. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Kayla, and in today's video, we're talking about three different ways you can remove doubt when using the law of attraction. The more you can remove doubt from your thoughts and feelings, the quicker you can experience your desire. Doubtful energy is a low vibration. If you're doubting that something is going to happen, it usually makes you feel like crap, right? Which means your vibration's low and you're not on the same frequency of your desire because you're here and your desire is here. And now your doubts are going to become your reality and you won't experience your desire. And let's be honest, sometimes we take that as proof the law of attraction doesn't work, it's not real, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so let's remove the doubt, let's get you experiencing your desires so you can be in a positive manifestation cycle, experiencing all that you want instead of a doubtful one. As I go through the three different ways you can remove doubt, pay attention to which one resonates with you. Um, the one you can see yourself doing and which one will allow you to feel the best after doing it because a big part of vibration is how you feel. So choose the one or two, however many are going to make you feel good after you've done it. Okay, so first way you can remove doubt is with an attraction box. It's something that symbolizes you giving your desire to the universe. You can get a tissue box and decorate it in a way that represents the universe. Then set an intention that everything that goes in the box manifests in your life. Whenever you come across something that represents your desire, whether that be a picture of it, a note you write about it, a physical item that you can put in there, doesn't matter what it is, put it in the box and then give it to the universe. Allow the universe to figure it out. I know we have a tendency to doubt when we're trying to figure out how or when this is going to happen, but if it makes you feel good to just take the worry and burden of trying to figure it out off of you and give it to the universe, then this method is going to be perfect for you. And I think the physical act of actually putting something into a box that represents the universe can mentally put you at ease and make you feel that all your desires have been heard and recognized and are now making their way to you. So number two is using allowing statements. So first you have to identify what your limiting beliefs, your doubts are, and then see what evidence is out there that shows you it can happen. If you want to manifest a relationship and you're thinking my ideal relationship isn't realistic, it's not that easy, good guys or girls are hard to come by, whatever the doubt is, then you can find evidence of people that have a relationship similar to what you desire, people that have easily attracted their ideal relationship, that are with their perfect match, that are with amazing people with all of the qualities that are important to them. So an example of an allowing statement is thousands of people are with their ideal partner right now. Hundreds of thousands of people are in loving, supportive, happy relationships. Thousands of people are meeting their life partners for the first time right now. I hope you get the gist of it, but your allowing statement should make you feel good. It should raise your vibration and make you feel confident in the fact that you can and will manifest your desired partner or whatever it is. It shows you how possible it really is. So ask yourself, is there anyone that currently has or is doing what you want? And if the answer is yes, then how many people? And how many people are doing or having said desire today, yesterday, a month ago, a year ago? And then boom, you have an allowing statement. The only way it works is if you're aware of when you're having thoughts or feelings of doubt, so then you can redirect your focus to allowing. So the more present you are in your day to day, the better. Number three is have a book of proof. If there was no doubt in your mind, no resistance towards experiencing your desire, then you would experience it really quickly. But when there is some resistance, it can take longer. When you're manifesting something, 
your vibration is raising the more you can live in the end and let go of doubt and as your vibration is raising you'll get manifestations of it it may not be your desire exactly but that's just because you haven't fully aligned yet and that's where your book of proof comes in handy the more you can document when you get a manifestation close to your desire the more you realize that the law of attraction wants to give you exactly what you're wanting and that doubt will go down and you get closer to aligning so if you're manifesting more money and someone buys you lunch or a coffee or you get something for free write it down or if someone comes to you with a job opportunity write it down if you're manifesting love and someone compliments you write it down if you spend quality time with someone that you love write it down if you see a couple that look totally happy and in love then write it down and when you feel doubt creeping in whip out your book of proof and see how things are unfolding exactly as they should be and when you remove that doubt the resistance you'll be able to completely align with your desire and experience exactly what you're wanting so those are three really effective ways that you can remove doubt like i said before if you want to try one of these pick one that really resonates with you that's really going to make a difference in removing your doubt letting go of that doubt and getting you into alignment so experiencing your desires becomes an effortless task <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching especially if you made it to the end i so appreciate you don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the bell so you never miss a video and i will see you guys in my next one thank you so much bye